Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Ukando TV channel. Today's video, we will find out together train track manufacturing process, and what is thermite welding, and why is aluminum used. The rail manufacturing process commences with the billets being discharged from the furnace, where they are heated to an extremely high temperature of 1,250 degrees Celsius. After exiting the furnace, the billets undergo a meticulous descaling process to eliminate impurities and oxide layers. This thorough descaling is achieved by subjecting the billets to high-pressure water jets operating at a remarkable water pressure of 250 bar. Once descaling is complete, the billets are ready to enter the roughing train breakdown mill or BDM-1. In this stage, the first breakdown mill stand plays a critical role in reducing the billet size through multiple passes. This reduction process is facilitated by automatic overload protection mechanisms to ensure safe and efficient rolling. Additionally, the billets are turned using a hook-type tilter, which aids in achieving uniform rolling and consistent quality throughout the billets. After the roughing stage, the billets enter BDM2, where they undergo further reduction to meet close tolerance requirements. Grip-type tilters are used to turn the rolled stock, which is now significantly longer. The leading pass for the finishing train is ruled, with the drop saw, cropping the rolled stock, if necessary. Lateral transportation in the horizontal direction ensures precise threading into the roll pads. The CCS finishing stand, where the heart of the manufacturing process lies, is responsible for achieving the high precision product geometries and microstructure properties required for high-speed rails. The CCS stand group consists of two CCS universal two high stands and a CCS edging stand. This configuration allows for the production of universal rails and beams using the X-Age method. The rails are formed through the universal rolling process, which ensures close tolerances, high surface quality, and minimal roll wear, leading to increased output. Hydraulic adjustment systems and automatic gauge control systems enable ruling speeds of up to 8 meters per second. The rails undergo four universal and two edging passes to reach the desired shape and dimensions. Quality assurance is a top priority throughout the manufacturing process. Each individual rail is stamped with a unique number for traceability purposes. After finishing rolling, the rails are conveyed to the cooling bed, where they are cooled to a straightening temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. To improve straightness and minimize internal stresses, the rails are precisely cambered before entering the straightening plant. After the rails are cooled to a straightening temperature of 60 degrees Celsius on the walking beam cooling bed, they are ready to undergo the straightening process. The first stage of the straightening process involves the horizontal straightening machine. This machine consists of cantilever type straightening rollers that are individually driven. As the rail passes through this machine, the straightening rollers exert pressure and carefully adjust the rail's position to achieve horizontal straightness.
The use of individually driven straightening rollers allows for precise control over the straightening process, ensuring the rail meets the required specifications. Once the rail passes through the horizontal straightening machine, it proceeds to the second stage of straightening, which involves the vertical straightening machine. Similar to the horizontal straightening machine, the vertical straightening machine is also equipped with individually driven straightening rollers. These rollers exert pressure and adjust the rail's position vertically, ensuring that it achieves the desired straightness. The combination of horizontal and vertical straightening allows for comprehensive control over the rail's alignment. By individually adjusting the straightening rollers, any deviations or irregularities in the rail's shape are corrected, resulting in a straight and uniform final product. The straightening process plays a vital role in minimizing internal stresses within the rail. By achieving precise straightness, the rail's internal forces are evenly distributed, reducing the risk of deformation or failure during use. Additionally, the straightening process helps improve the rail's overall structural integrity and performance. Before the welding process begins, the rail ends undergo a crucial step of precise cutting. Special cutting tools or saws are employed to remove any contaminants, damaged sections, or irregularities present on the rail ends. This cutting process ensures that the rail ends have clean and even surfaces, promoting optimal contact and fusion during welding. By eliminating any debris or imperfections, the cutting step enhances the integrity and strength of the resulting weld. It also helps create a smooth joint between the rail ends, facilitating seamless travel and minimizing the risk of structural issues along the rail track. First, the mold needs to be checked and cleaned. Make sure that the mold has no cracks, rust or any damage. If necessary, the mold should be repaired or replaced. The mold is placed in the correct position on the railhead. The railhead needs to be properly aligned in the mold to ensure a perfect match. The mold is connected to the railhead by clamps. This helps keep the mold in place and ensures stability during welding. The welding process requires an enclosed space for safety and performance. Therefore, the joints between the die and the rail end need to be tight to avoid overflow when the alloy reaction takes place. A crucible, typically made of refractory material, is used to hold the thermite mixture. It is cleaned thoroughly to ensure that no impurities are present. The clean magnetic end of the rail is inserted into the crucible, allowing for the transfer of heat from the thermite reaction to the rail ends, initiating the melting process. The positioning of the torch in alumina thermic welding is a critical aspect of achieving a successful weld. The torch is carefully adjusted to the correct height above the rail ends to ensure that the heat is evenly distributed. This uniform distribution of heat is crucial for achieving consistent melting of the rail ends and promoting a strong fusion. To position the torch accurately, Various factors are considered, such as the type and size of the rails, the desired welding parameters, and the specific requirements of the welding procedure. The torch is typically mounted on a specialized holder or fixture that allows for precise adjustment and secure attachment. The correct torch height is determined by factors such as the rail profile, the desired penetration depth, and the type of alloy used. The aim is to achieve a balance between providing sufficient heat for melting the rail ends and avoiding excessive heat that could lead to undesirable effects such as overheating or burning. During the welding process, the torch position is continuously monitored and adjusted if necessary. This ensures that the heat is evenly distributed across the rail ends, promoting uniform melting and fusion.
It also helps to avoid issues such as insufficient fusion or incomplete melting that can compromise the strength and integrity of the weld. Additionally, securing the torch in place is essential to maintain the desired position throughout the welding process. This is typically done using clamps or fixtures that securely hold the torch in the correct height and prevent any movement or deviation during the welding operation. During the preheating phase of aluminothermic welding, working pressures play a crucial role in controlling the temperature and facilitating proper heat transfer within the crucible. Compressed air or other suitable gases are employed to maintain the desired pressure levels, ensuring optimal conditions for the welding process. Working pressures are carefully monitored and controlled throughout the preheating phase to prevent any fluctuations that could negatively impact the quality of the weld. The pressure inside the crucible is regulated to create a controlled environment for the thermite reaction. The precise working pressure is determined based on factors such as the type of rail-rail profile and specific welding requirements. The working pressure affects the rate of heat transfer from the thermite mixture to the rail ends. By adjusting the pressure, the heat can be effectively transferred to ensure proper preheating and melting of the rail ends. The working pressure directly influences the temperature inside the crucible. The higher the pressure, the greater the heat generated by the thermite reaction. Careful pressure regulation allows for achieving and maintaining the desired temperature for effective preheating. Consistent working pressures contribute to uniform heating across the rail ends. This ensures that all parts of the rail ends reach the required preheating temperature, promoting even melting and fusion during the welding process. Skilled operators continuously monitor the working pressures during preheating. Any fluctuations or deviations from the desired pressure range are promptly addressed to maintain a stable and controlled environment inside the crucible. Maintaining stable and appropriate working pressures helps ensure the overall quality of the weld. Fluctuations in pressure can lead to inconsistent heat distribution, incomplete melting, or insufficient fusion, which may result in weak or defective welds. Once the fusion is complete and the weld has cooled down, excess material, also known as flash, is trimmed off. Trimming involves removing the excess metal from the weld to achieve the desired profile and dimensions. This step helps ensure smooth and uniform rail surfaces. After trimming, the rail head profile is carefully ground to remove any imperfections or irregularities. Grinding helps create a smooth and even rail surface, ensuring optimal performance and reducing the risk of issues such as rail head fatigue. RF system, in collaboration with CAB, has introduced a groundbreaking concept aimed at revolutionizing the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of construction projects. At the core of the RF system is a sophisticated arrangement of equipment and mechanisms that streamline the construction process. One key component is the sleeper laying machine, which is equipped with user-friendly buttons for operation. This machine works in conjunction with the loader that efficiently feeds the sleepers into the system. Additionally, a specially designed sleeper carriage is connected to an excavator, enabling seamless integration within the construction site. The inclusion of buttons for both fast clip and fast clip FE functionalities further enhances the system's efficiency. These buttons facilitate swift and secure attachment of the sleepers reducing manual labor and saving valuable time. Moreover, the incorporation of a rail lift on wheels enhances the overall efficiency of the system, ensuring smooth transportation and placement of the sleepers.
To optimize the construction process, it would be highly advantageous for the sleepers to arrive at regular intervals. Ideally, a six sleeper interval would enable a steady workflow and minimize disruptions. However, this aspect of the system may require further refinement to ensure seamless synchronization. One potential area for improvement is the integration of automatic distance measurement capabilities. By incorporating sensors or other distance measuring technologies, the ARF system can accurately determine the spacing between sleepers and automatically adjust the construction process accordingly. This enhancement would eliminate the need for manual measurements and further streamline the efficiency of the system. The successful implementation of the ARF system prototype highlights its potential to revolutionize construction practices. The combination of the sleeper laying machine, loader, sleeper carriage, and excavator, along with the incorporation of fast clip functionalities and a rail lift on wheels, demonstrates a comprehensive and innovative approach to construction efficiency.